It's uh, Captain Chad Kenny, Bam Bam Charters, Port Mansfield, Texas. We also own the Mansfield Marina. Here we're gonna do a little quick tips for you guys for Captain Rick Murphy uh, YouTube channel. He's also a Sportsman Adventures, and also I do the Texas Insider Fishing Show with him, which will start again here in uh, April and we'll go through September, which we've been going for four or five years here and been starting with him since the beginning. So just got back in from a double, guys. We've been snapper fishing. We're gonna give you a fishing report and give you a few tips on what's going on. We caught some monster snapper this afternoon. We literally left about 1.30 this afternoon. Guys are cleaning the fish back up there. My buddy's filming. And uh, you can see the sun's coming down, but I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at a couple monster fish they got. So these are two Texas State snapper. Which are caught this afternoon. As you can see, these are solid 16, 18 pound fish. And I'm gonna let you know how we caught them, kind of where we caught them, and what to look for to help y'all to do it here in the future, or give me a call if you want to do it with us. So hands are kind of slimy, both slimy, which is all good. So basically, first off, we're gonna talk about the monofilament line. This is a 150 pound Mamoy mono. Basically, you get an arm's length. This time of year, you want to do a double leader, double drop because of the current, water clarity, everything else. And basically, it's real simple. You can just make a simple loop knot. You know, tighten it up. And we're using real basic stuff right now, which is great, but it's a pen warfare combo with a Fathom 25 on it. We got Mamoy Diamond 40 pound mono on this thing. You can see our double rig with Eagle Claw 13 out hooks. And people always ask me, why are you using the Eagle Claw or why are you using the 13 out? You know, why don't you use a 10? Why don't you use this? And the reason being is on these bigger fish or even five, six pound fish, that 13 out has a bigger gap. So when you get these fish in a circle hook, you're gonna hook them in the jaw. If you have a smaller hook, you can't roll them out. It's gonna be stuck there. You can be fighting with it with your pliers or anything else like that. You can roll these big, nice 13 hooks out of these fish be a lot easier to handle. Main thing on this 150 pound Mamoy, which they make in bigger spools or real easy on these individual packs for your leader line. The main reason we use this, you can use 100, you can use 80, you can use 60, you can use all that stuff, but you start going below 100 pounds, if you like to save your hands, when you start doing a double wrap and you're bringing that fish up out of the water, if you use an 80 pound or anything else, it's gonna find every little sliver you got and it's gonna cut you down to the bone or cut you down deep. 130, 150 pound above, so not gonna do that. You can do a double wrap. Not to mention you can get two big bad boys like I just showed you, and you got a double hook rig and they're fighting against each other. This will hold the abrasion of their gill plates when they're coming up on the water, and it'll be a lot less, you're gonna lose a lot less fish. They're, the, the, the size of the lines are not gonna get them leader shy, nothing else like that due to the water clarity here and on, which we're talking about. The fishing is great, but like today, we just fished today, the water was perfect. Calm seas, but the water clarity wasn't there. It was 10 foot visibility max. We just had a big northern blow through. When the currents are like that, you have to get down deep. The fish are laying on the bottom. Don't fish for suspended fish. We're, you know, that all goes out to the window till summertime until you get like three, four days of really good weather behind the northern for blue water. And moving on, as I said, the eagle claw, circle hooks, 13 knot circle hooks. Definitely go with that. You can go down to 12, 12 starts getting a little. You have to have smaller fingers, maybe like Bones does over there. But uh, for fat fingers like me, 13 ounces are definitely the way to roll out. You start getting bigger than that, then you're gonna start losing some of the fish because you won't be able to put a big enough piece of bait on and we go from there. Speaking of bait, today we use a lot of, we use actually bonita, bonita bellies, we use lizard fish, um, squid, croaker, spot croaker, and also if the weather allows, which today it didn't because we just had a big northern, Fish bites works really well. You get an eagle claw trocar jig head, tip the fish bite down there. You can also do it with an eagle claw circle hook and put it to the bottom, but use that when the water clarity is a little bit better. Or if you are in the mud, then kind of wind them up and bait ball them more just on a circle hook by himself on the very, very bottom. But if you're gonna start jigging them, split the tail a little bit and feather it down, it works a lot better that way. And on the bank weights, which I was talking about the Mamoy double leader. So basically you make your main leader, you don't have to use any hook swivels or anything else like that. It's gonna break your eyelids. It's gonna catch your fingers when you're going through. So just tie on, it's another reason to use the 150 or 130. Tie your Mamoy 40 pounds straight to that. Tie your second hook, second, and on the very bottom would be 
like this on your bank weight and start out with eight ounce if you need to double up on current size, but this stuff's really easy. You put a slip knot basically in it. You just poke it through to the bottom. Since it's 150, you gotta pinch it. Poke it through the bottom, you slide it through, and then you're done. And when you're done fishing, you just take it off, slide it through, put your weight back. Same thing with the hook. Same thing with everything. And then you can snap them up together like this on the pin reel, on that fathom. Hold them for a tight deal like that, put them right back there and you're good to go. So snapper fishing has been on fire. State water is open in Texas, four per person per day, 15 inches. It'll be open through, should be open through the rest of the year. Bay fishing, been pretty good, but you gotta really kind of wake fish. You gotta pick your weather, get out really skinny, get a shallow water boat, like shallow sport boats. Hit out there early, throw red, uh, red and white coca hose and throw some uh, bass assassins, some, and then throw spoons. Um, you gotta really follow the muddle on those guys. But right now, if you're really looking for some fish, and good fishing, winter time, look for the snapper, and the wahoo will be showing up here in a couple months.